Hey everyone, uh, this is Pastor Harvey Beck at uh, Lester Memorial United Methodist Church. If you're joining us for the first time, we're glad that you're with us. I usually share a Wednesday devotion, and let me go ahead and share a couple of announcements to our folks here at Lester Memorial, and uh, you will receive this on Wednesday, July the 29th. And uh, so what I wanted to share with you is this coming Sunday, August the 2nd, we're going to share in communion together. And by the way, a beautiful service last week in our new worship space. We continue to practice social distancing, strongly encourage people to continue to wear masks. And we also respect and appreciate those who feel the need that they need to stay home. And that's what we want you to do. We have live stream available in both 830 and 11 o'clock services. And then we have radio available at our 11 o'clock service. So if you feel like you need to stay home, we understand that. But this coming Sunday, we are going to have communion. And what we've done... Pastor Joe Hastings ordered these small cups. They're pre-sealed, and uh, they're a little safer and so forth. I've used these before, but it has a seal on top, and I'm going to hold it up so you can see it. You pull back the first seal, and then you expose the wafer, and then you're able to take that out, and then take the wafer, and then you pull back the foil, and then you open up the juice cup, and you can take it that way. So if you're at home, you can still have the elements available, but... We will use these cups and both of the services at 8.30 and at 11 o'clock. You just remain seated where you're at. We'll give you instructions, and our ushers and greeters will bring the elements to you, these cups. And uh, we'll have a song played during that time. We're sharing communion that way. We'll all take it together, and then we'll have a basket to take up the cups afterwards. So we'll have all that planned out. We'll also include that in a church-wide email that we'll send out either Thursday or Friday. So hope you can join us. Uh, on this coming Sunday, August the 2nd, for communion and join us there or either at home. So anyway, um, I wanted to share something with you. A few weeks ago, you may have heard the sermon about let go and let God. I had a, a good bit of response back to that and some very encouraging things that were, were given to me that I'm about to show you. And uh, then I'm going to end up sharing a devotion about encouragement. And um, after sharing that story about let go and let God, and I shared a story about my grandmother, which I called Granny, that I grew up with. And I still remember this. She had magnets all over the refrigerator. As I shared the story, she had a magnet on the refrigerator that said, let go and let God. And I had said, boy, I wish I knew where that magnet was. Well, uh, different people sent me things. And I want to thank two different people here at our church. Uh, Jenna sent me this. And it's a rock that she actually had placed on there the words, let go and let God. She got one from me and a friend and someone else, but but thank you for that. What great encouragement that was. Then I received a cross from Donna. Uh, from, no, this came from uh, up on Crossville United Methodist Church and uh, some friends up there sent me a cross that they had made and they had, you could print on it what you want to. And so it says, let go and let God. So thank you again for the encouragement that that was. And then here at our church this week, I received a magnet that says, let go and let God. And that is from Donna. And I appreciate that. And uh, that made me thinking about how encouraging that was to me. And I want you to think about maybe someone in your life. It may be a, a parent, it may be a child, it may be a grandchild, it may be a coworker that needs some type of encouragement, whether it's an encouraging word or maybe a gift like that, a card or something. But is there a way that you could minister to somebody today or possibly in the next few days or week that you sense from God's Spirit that, hey, this person really needs a word of encouragement? Most of us can say negative complaining things. I'm good at it quite often. But I also know how powerful it is to speak a positive word to somebody, an encouraging word. And we see this in the Scriptures. I'm going to share with you just a few. Some of us have our favorite encouraging Scriptures, but... Here's one from Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, and I will help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. What a strong, encouraging word from God. And then hear these words that were given to Joshua. This is in Joshua 1.9. Can you imagine having to follow Moses? Joshua had to follow Moses, and I think God knew he needed to hear a word of encouragement. So he said, have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. 
Do not be frightened nor be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Maybe that's a word you need to hear today. I also remind you that when Jesus began his ministry, right before he began it, you remember John the Baptist was there. He was baptized in the Jordan and the voice came out of the cloud from God about Jesus, his son. And you remember the encouraging words that God gave him. And I think at a unique time of him beginning that ministry, for this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. Don't you know that must have been so encouraging to Jesus to hear his father say that, especially as he began his ministry. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Jesus said these words, and I've said before that one of the most beautiful words that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit ever spoke to any of us is the word come. And so Jesus said, come to me, all of you who labor and are, and are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. Isn't that an encouraging word? Come to me, Jesus said, and I'll give you rest. I want to give you that rest. And then I remind you of the 23rd Psalm. Really, the whole psalm is a very encouraging psalm. Uh, but here's one line. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, and your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Who's somebody that you can share an encouraging word to? Maybe you could share with them one of these scriptures. Maybe you send them a card or maybe you send them a gift, uh, something like that that says, let go and let God. I hope maybe today you receive some encouragement from God. And, and why don't you be an encouragement to somebody else by sharing with them a positive, encouraging word? So I want to thank these who blessed me in this way. But you think of somebody in your life that you can encourage today. Give them a call, send them a card, shoot them an email or a text, and uh, let them know that they're being thought of and speak a powerful, encouraging word to somebody. It makes a difference. And with all that's going on with the pandemic, coronavirus, the anxieties, the stress we've got going on, the protests, the anger, um, the hate, say something positive. Send an encouraging word to somebody. Love you. God bless you. Hope to see you on Sunday. Amen. Love you. Golden day.